this are seaweed which residents here in Butre in the Hunter West District tells me that they don't really understand why this washing ashore of seaweed that are not totally dead has become too rampant in recent days. Uh, their suspicion is that something new or something unusual is actually happening down deep sea and for that matter they want authorities to begin to look into uh, what is basically causing the washing ashore of this seaweed. So seaweed where there a hard way what happened nanka na mba mba na mom bra ya shot say say to petrol ya na sa see this shot say we be gumpo ano we ba mpo ano anya na we dey for anwuna for mo anya na we ba ya po na say anya na afa for mo ko opon what you ba na anti more than 1 mile square sa see dey go to we want to be to abo mpo no ma and the gender po mo ko mpo mo anya na and I'm sad to we are. I had been by Papa, I won't buy no. And the Asra by some more, not far for no woman, your capital be our much with our own. But uh, we want to also hear from the fishermen uh, themselves as to whether what we are seeing here is of any hindrance to the business they do as a fishermen. Sa <laughs> Baby, where they were at the Azim beach, the situation was even worse as it was obvious that the seaweed had taken over the landing beach with both fighting for space with the marine plant. A resident and a fisherman spoke to City News. Even tortoises cannot even come to lay their eggs on the landing beach. When you go to Atuabo and other stuff, or Bain and other uh, towns, Ekwe and etc., you have been seeing the same problems. The same applies to the fishermen. When they go for the fishing activities, they face the same problem. The nets have been catching this of leaves. What else fish? They do a lot of courses for their fishing activities. Some people spend more than 2,000 Ghana City, 3,000 Ghana City for their fishing activities. When the cause of these problems, how can you even get uh, enough fish to come to their houses and uh, even sell to uh, achieve what they want to achieve? Yeah, Kopa. No, we have to share. At two o'clock, we have to share. No, I'm not a boy. No, it's a cow. I'm going to cut a piece of it. No, I'm not a cow. I'm going to cut a piece of it. No, I'm not a cow. I'm going to cut a piece of it. No, I'm not a cow. I'm going to cut a piece of it. No, I'm not a cow. I'm going to cut a piece of it. No, I'm not a cow. I'm going to cut a piece of it. No, I'm not a be about three days, and then we'll be about five days. If you cry, pa, we took the two of one. He wanted to wear your quite deep sea, no, I have pretty cool food. And then the corny, they have bread, one man, and so on, one in your no, one man, you have work out. So, whilst others think that this might be coming from the exploration of oil in our waters, uh, we have other people who seem to have a divergent um, view uh, to the discussion, and we want to hear them. Also tell us what they know about this or what they've seen elsewhere. Uh, what can you tell us about what you're seeing here? First of all, uh, I see you trying to relax along the coast. Um, how, how comfortable or uncomfortable is it for you if you, maybe you want to sit down? I'll prefer it be clean, but I also think it helps the ecosystem somehow. For now, it is really having serious impact on their fishing activities. They get their, their nets entangled with this uh, seaweeds at sea and uh, they have to battle 
with it until uh, they are able to actually make some catch. And so basically, they are calling on authorities to actually give them some alternative livelihoods uh, to actually keep going even in the face of these uh, seaweeds. For City News, I am Akwesi Ejenim Butre.